Alright, so now you may be wondering, what the hell am I doing staring at a wall in the interior of uh, some random car? Well, basically, my Elgato didn't work at the start of this video. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. I am on some Forza Horizon 2 with the Super. We, of course, we're in the... Actually, I'm going to go over here because it's actually a really nice view. I want to see if this uh, looks any decent. If I bring it all the way to the end here. Basically... I have to make a video showing off this uh, this super because uh, if you guys don't know, the original Fast and Furious, the very very first one from the franchise, is actually being replayed in cinemas because uh, because of its anniversary. I think it's like a 15 year anniversary, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I think the the film came out in 2001. So basically, I wanted to make a video with the super uh, on Forza Horizon 2, especially because. Uh, uh, honestly, this game has been so much fun lately to play. I've just been I've just been on this game a lot because uh, because as soon as I've seen Forza Horizon 3 gameplay, I'm like, oh my god, I cannot wait for the game to come out. This needs to come out now. So I just hop back onto this game just so I can play it. And yeah, I'm just, I, I just I'm pretty hyped up for Forza Horizon 3. If you can't tell, anyway, I want I also wanted to hop in an online session. Alright, alright, super, relax. I wanted to hop in an online session, and that doesn't work either. So nothing works, apparently, today. Thank you, everybody and everything. Steam is down as well because the Steam sale, so I can't sign on to Steam or anything. Everything is just breaking, and uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to work too well. But, yeah, like I said, I wanted to hop onto some Forza Horizon 2. I want to slide this thing online, but I can't. And I'm just stuck sliding on my own, forever alone here. At the docks. Oh god, this is so weird. This is completely stock as well. When I ended up... Basically, at the start of this video... Um, well, before the start of this video... <laughs> this is so weird to say because my Elgato like, capture just crashed before I started recording this video that you're watching right now. So basically, I had another video that was already started and recorded. And like I was in the garage. I bought this car. Brand new. It's completely stock. Um, I already have another one of these in my garage. And I was like, oh my god, I haven't drifted driven this car in such a long time. Look at the interior, how cool it is and everything. So yeah, you guys have missed out on all that because my Elgato just didn't work at the start of the video. Anyway, um, yeah, basically I wanted to hop with this car into an online session and just slide it. Completely stock. I just wanted to see what it was like because I don't remember if this car was any good or bad stock, but I now remember um, that the gear ratios are pretty much fucked on this thing. They're really bad. Um, I think, watch this, I'm gonna go into third gear. Look how far it drops as well. Like in second gear, I'm at like 5,000 RPM, and then it drops to like three and a half thousand. I mean, this is not that bad, but the gear ratios are so long. I'll show you guys now. In third gear, I can do 117 miles an hour. That's not kilometers, by the way. It would be a lot more realistic if it was kilometers an hour, but I'm doing 117 miles an hour. That's stupid. That is stupidly fast. 118 miles an hour. All right, let's hit the jump. We have to hit the jump. Oh my god, we're taking off. Holy shit. Oh, the crush! Okay. I think I might have just killed. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to hop onto this game because it's so much fun to play at the moment, especially. And, uh... My screen is very, very dark, so I can't even see the road at the moment. It's so black. I hate to change my... Oh god, I hate to change my contrast and my brightness on my screen! And I lost it. Fuck! But yeah, Fast and the Furious being replayed in cinemas. I honestly don't think I'm gonna go watch it because I... I've seen the movie a lot of times. I've seen it a lot of times. Also, it's, it's a thing that I kind of don't want to give Universal any more of my uh, any more of my money, especially for, a, for like a film, like a movie that I've seen a lot of times, um, and I kind of don't feel like like doing that. And I can I just kind of watch it for free at home, basically. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's airing in cinemas. If you guys have never seen it, I don't know what you guys are doing. Like I I know this is it's probably not going to be. Like that amazing, especially for now. Actually, never mind. The, the, the movie is actually very, very cool. It's it's fucking class. You guys should just go watch it. All right. If you guys have never seen a Fast and Furious, which I'm pretty sure about 99% of you have seen it. I don't know what the one percent of you is. Do. These are like just these these are just stupid stats, by the way, that I'm just saying right now. This this is what the hell is going on over there? Okay, um, but yeah, these are just like the stats that I'm just creating like off the top of my head right now. Uh, but basically, I don't know what the 1% of you are doing. How have you not watched The Fast and the Furious yet? If you guys have seen like the newer ones and you haven't seen the older ones, you guys are missing out a lot. The, the, the first two ones were the best easily. 
two Fast and Furious and uh, the, the Fast and the Furious, the very first one, were easily the best ones. And then, you know, it kind of kept turning into more of an action film. I mean, it was it was always sort of like an action film, but it sort of revolved a little bit more around cars. And uh, even in Tokyo Drift, like it was just like it just revolved around cars. And you know, I I know that a lot of people maybe didn't like Tokyo Drift because it didn't have the you know the normal characters that that the you know the 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 main Fast and Furious franchise had, but. I actually did enjoy it quite a lot, and it was it was a very very good film. I don't think that would have should have been released at the time that it was because it kind of messed up with the story a little bit, and even the naming scheme. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's still like it was about the cars. It was it was such a good film to, to watch. All, all these were actually very very good. I I still go back and watch the Fast and Furious as outlandish as they are at the moment. I still go back and watch them. They're they're very entertaining films. You know, you, you I wouldn't nominate like these films to win any sort of like crazy crazy like uh, oh god crazy crazy awards but being like a really good action film it's it, it, it they're very good to watch very very good to watch and I definitely oh god definitely recommend you guys watching them if you guys haven't seen any of them so yeah I suggest also starting with the very very first one which is the one that we're sort of talking about in in this video which uh, sort of has this guy this by the way is uh, this Brian's car? This is uh, this is the car that was built by pretty much the whole team. You know, the Toretto and all of his uh, all of his posse uh, built this thing for for Brian to to race with. So yeah, this is uh, this is where we are with the super and why I decided to drive it in today's video. So a little bit of a commentary. Just sort of wanted to let my my mind kind of flow a little bit in today's video, and I just wanted to talk about. Uh, about uh, Fast and the Furious being out in cinemas once again, which is very, very weird. At the time, I was very, very young. I think I was only like about eight, eight or nine years old when this. No, I was eight. I was eight years old when this uh, when this movie came out. So I was I was not aware of it at all. And I think the next time I watched, uh, or the very, very first time I watched this, it was just before. I think Too Fast and Too Furious came out. Just before, maybe like a couple of months before Too Fast and Too Furious came out, and uh, yeah. I, I think I just did Too Fast and Too Furious. So Too Fast, Too Furious. Before that came out, I just ended up watching the first one, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Obviously, nowadays, the car scene is going to look a little bit strange because all the cars were kind of riced back then, but that was the car culture. That was that was it back then, you know? Like, that's, like this, this is what you guys are seeing right now on the car. This is what was cool back then. This is what everybody liked. This is what everybody wanted to do to their car to make it look, like, really, really sick and... Pretty much the LA scene back then, the LA car scene was was this. So this is pretty much what they decided to show off. This and the the nightlife, pretty much that these uh, these drivers had. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Like I said, just a little bit of sort of some sort of like a rambling commentary. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.